Hello everyone, welcome back for another video on Yerma Geek. It's so good to be back, and what better way to start is with Zack Schneider's Justice League. Oh, you have no idea, not how long have I been waiting this for this to come out, but how much I was hoping this would actually be released on 4K, or even released on digital like it was. When it was released digital, I was thinking, oh, is that it? Are they not going to release it on 4K? But no, they have, and so quickly as well. I didn't expect to get this out on 4K until the end of the year. So the fact we've got it now is just awesome. So we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. Haven't really looked at this myself, apart from taking the seat off and look at the front cover. So it's as new for me as it is for you. So without further ado, let's get to it. So at the top here, we have <gasps> some marks. Oh my, what is this? What is that? Oh no. Oh well, these things happen, don't they? So obviously from the stickiness of the of the sort of the paper cover you get on it. But anyway, who cares? The main thing is a disc at the end of the day. So there we go. It's a matte finish. No spot gloss on it from what I can see. You've got the DC symbol. Zack Snyder's Justice League, that's right, not Joss Whedon, Zack Snyder's Justice League. As we go down here, we've got Aquaman's Trident, although Trident should be three prongs rather than five, but there we go. I love the fact that one of the prongs is made up of Wonder Woman's sword, that's pretty awesome. And down the bottom here, we have, that's a sticker, that's a sticker, so that's cool, I can peel them off. We've got there the the six hands of the Justice League themselves. We've got Flash, left to right, Cyborg, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. My favourite would be... It's got to be Batman. I mean, look how cool that is. With the Batarang. So cool. Love the... Just, I just love that cover. It's very simple, but yeah, it looks really cool. A few marks up there as well, but... I don't, don't mind too much. So look at the spine. That focus. Is it going to focus for me? I've had a few troubles with my new, uh, new iPhone. I've had a few troubles with the focusing on this for some reason. There we go. Zack Snyder's Justice League. And again, the DC symbol and Warner Brothers. Now, what's on the back? I can't remember what's on the back. Ah, one of the mother boxes. Or as famously said in the original Joss Whedon version of Justice League. Oh mother, mother boxes, oh mother, oh mother your boxes, oh mother, oh mother. What was his, what was his beef with those mother boxes in the first film? My word, he had a serious weird fetish about those boxes. <laughs> it's so embarrassing you watch it now, back and watch it. Anyway, we have a mother box. Or a mother fetish, or fetish box, in the words of uh, the first Joss Whedon version of Justice League. But there we go, nice nice detail, nice and sharp picture there, as you can see. Nice print. Let's have a look at the inside. Okay, so on the inside, I was not expecting this. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I didn't expect it to be on two discs. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, seeing as it is a four-hour film, but that's cool. I, I don't know, I just was expecting one disc. So there's the first disc. And it is HDR10 from what I understand, it's not Dolby Vision. And then there's disc 2 underneath that. And on the left here we have a little sort of insert or leaflet for the Batman and Suicide Squad. Both I cannot wait for. I'm most excited for the Batman, I think, just because I, you know, you gotta love the, the sort of the headliner of DC. But the Suicide Squad, very, very excited for that. But um, that's the discs there. And let's have a look underneath this leaflet. So you can get an idea here as to what the picture is underneath the discs. So we've got them all sort of in the command centre as such, the HQ, looking at the sort of plans, holographic plans of, of their mission, really. And you've got Wonder Woman there and Flash. It's not the most heroic pose, is it? <laughs> so she stood in the school line. But yeah, so that's that there. And then we've got a leaflet there. For um, for the two games coming out 2022, Gotham Knights Suicide Squad, both quite similar in their 
styles by looking at first look. Gotham Knights definitely aiming more towards the Batman Arkham Knight looking games. But both look fantastic and super excited for both of those. So that's the unboxing of this Justice League um, 4K Steelbook from HMV. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please do like, subscribe and comment below. And I will always try and comment back to every single comment that's put on there. Thanks again. Stay safe.